Hey, Jerry from Blizz Studio, and welcome back. And in the last tutorial, what did we do? We put together a game over condition and a game over UI. So what are we gonna do in this one? We're gonna put together a reset button that goes on that game over UI, and then be able to reset the game. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. All right, so just as a reminder of what we did last, last demo, added a game over UI. And then we also are detecting when the ball has hit the bottom to spawn the game over. Boom. There we go. We've stopped time. We stopped our controller. Now we need to go ahead and add a button to our UI so that we can reset the game. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I want to, let's see here. Um, in my game over manager, let's unlock our controller here. So game over, uh, we've, we're doing a few things. We've activated the game over UI. We've set the property of the controller to turn it off so we don't can't move our controller. And then we've scaled time to zero. So if we need to turn everything back on, we just need to, to replicate that. But before I can do that, I need to have a button that I can actually push. So let's go ahead and turn our game over UI on. So we've got that. And let's go ahead and add a button. So let's go right click and let's see, UI, add a button. And I'm gonna add a Text Mesh Pro button. And add that on screen. Let's go ahead and increase the size of this. Let's go 300. Let's maybe make that 400. 400 by 100, make it a big button. That works. And then I'm gonna change the color of this. Be a little bit of a warmer pink. And then I'm gonna change that text there real quick. And I'll call this uh, restart, restart button. And then I'm gonna change the text on the inside here. So we'll call this restart. And then I'm gonna change the look of it. So I'm gonna bold it and change the text to be that slightly off-white color and then increase the size quite a bit. Restart. And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and set this up. So what I'm gonna do is to go into my game over and then I need to listen for when that button is clicked. So we're sitting here on the game over state. So I'm gonna drag my, re my button into that game over state. I'm gonna drag that over and then um, I'm gonna select button and then UI. And then we're gonna choose UI button on click event. So when the button has been clicked, when somebody has selected it, we want to spawn a new um, action. Or we're gonna spawn, go to a new state. So here I need to create a new event. Let's go ahead and add that and we'll call this reset. And then over here in our game over UI, we need to add that to our button. So we're gonna spawn reset. And then it's saying, hey, you need a new transition. Let's go ahead and add that. I'll move these over a little bit. All right, so I have a reset on there and I'm gonna drag over to a new state. And here we are gonna call this reset. Then I'm gonna go back to copy the set property, set, set scale time, and the activate game object, copy those, paste those into reset. And so we're gonna do just the opposite of what we did. So we wanna turn the UI off, then we're going to uh, enable our FSM controller, which allows us our, our controller to move. So we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna scale time back to one, and then the other thing that we need to do is to reset our ball to be back at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go set position. And then what is it that we wanna set the position of? Well, we wanna set the position of the ball. So specific game object. So ball, drag that in. And then we, we have specific coordinates for this ball. So let's go ahead and uncheck the variable for each. So we can just hard code those in and our ball is currently at 0, 5.30. So that's the 
uh, position that we want to put it, 0, 5.3, and 0. And we don't want to update every frame. Okay, so this should do it. But once we're done, we need to actually then go back to detect bottom. So let's go ahead and add, add a finished state here. So finished, drag that back over to bottom detection. And I'll just rearrange these so we can kind of see the, the reset here. So we're detecting if we hit the bottom. Here we're spawning game over. Then if we hit the button, we're going back and resetting everything. So let's give this a try and see if it works. And there, we've hit the bottom. We spawn the game over UI. Let's hit restart. And there we go, our ball is back to the top. Now we're back to playing a game. And then we're back to restart again. Or we're back to game over. And there we go, we've now created a restart for our game. So in this tutorial, we added a reset button to that game over UI. And with that, we were able to reset the game so that the ball went back to the top. We can then continue to move our controller and we we're back to playing. So what's coming up in the next tutorial? We're gonna be looking at adding some sound, yes. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Till next time, peace.